Ladies and gentlemen, referee in the ring, Denis Sidenka. In the red corner is invited. Please welcome here, Katerina Vandergeva. So welcome back, and we have our eighth fight of the night. We have two more to go. Coming in right now in the 54 kilogram category, fighting out of the red corner, it'll be Katerina Vandergeva from Belarus. This is a super fight here at W5 Fighter, and uh, she has one tough tough kickboxer. She's going to have her hands full with Mikaela Banchakova. Katarina right now is entering the ring. She has great strong legs. And she utilizes very well. She's got a great form, great technique. She's very patient. She will look for an opening. She will create an opening and when she sees it, she will attack. In the blue corner is invited to welcome in the ring, Mikhaela Bonchakova. And out of Slovakia, here comes Mikhaela Bonchakova. Mikhaela has a significant height disadvantage to Yekaterina, and we'll see how that plays out. So far tonight, when we've seen this height advantage, the shorter opponent has not been able to get inside as often as they probably should by not pushing their opponent into the corner. And we saw that in the last fight where Konstantin was able to keep uh, Dimitri at a distance and use those mid kicks to, to get victory in a split decision. And here comes Mikaela. Introducing a fighter in the red corner, 21 years old, 170 centimeters, 54 kilograms. Her professional record of three fights, two wins, one loss. Ladies and gentlemen, from Belarus, Kekaterina von Danieva. <laughs> Introducing a fighter in the blue corner, 27 years old, 160 centimeters, 54 kilograms. Her professional record of 10 fights, six win, four losses. Ladies and gentlemen from Slovakia, Mikaela Ponchakova. There you go, the fighters have been introduced. They're gonna go to the center of the ring and we will be on our way with our eighth fight. And what is, so odd so far is that in all the fights we haven't even seen one knockdown. Will we even see one tonight? And if we do, will it come from Yekaterina? Listen to my comment. She is the heavy favorite in this fight. Good luck. Yekaterina will have the green gloves. Fight now the red corner. Mikaela with the fight now the blue corner with, I believe, the yellow gloves. Yes, the yellow gloves and the blue trunks. And you can see how quick Ekaterina's legs are. She brought that high kick up, blocked nicely by Mikaela. And again, there's that high kick. You don't even see it coming. She just brings it up with almost no effort and no sign. Nice spinning back. It was an extremely fast fighter. Good inside low kick by Ekaterina. Another inside low kick by Ekaterina. Missing that high kick. I love how you don't even see it coming. The way she brings that leg up, Yekaterina, you don't even see it happening. It's just so fast. Yekaterina laying a right hook. Right behind the gloves of Mikaela. Good right by Yekaterina. I like how Yekaterina is just using her legs, just going after that high kick over and over. 
She hasn't landed one yet. She just landed that right high kick right there. She hasn't really landed him yet. But she's definitely making her uh, opponent think and protect that head, which will open up her body. Nice low kick by Michaela. Good big overhand right by Katrina, but she keeps that defense down and she just ate a right by Michaela. If I'm Katrina, I wouldn't be fooling around so much because clearly Michaela can counter and she can land it. She just land another right on the chin. And for as much as Katrina is dancing around, most of her shots so far have been blocked quite nicely by Michaela. See, Katrina, she likes to dance around with those gloves really low, taunting her opponent right now, early on in the first round. I'm not so sure that taunting him when you haven't even dominated anything yet is such a smart idea. That's how things can end very badly for you. Good big right by Katrina. Nice counter to Michaela's right. Good change of uh, shots here, no power behind him, just kind of just throwing them around, almost slapping at each other as they were in close quarters and almost in a clinching mode. Ten seconds left here in round number one. A lot of action, nothing much landed. The biggest shot was that right by Michaela. So what happens now here in round number two, Yekaterina, who very much like Natalia Djachkova, uh, played around with her opponent, and of course Natalia did win that fight, but uh, if you're playing around with your opponent, it only takes your opponent a couple good shots to even go ahead on the scorecard. So if I'm, Yuka if I'm Yukaterina's trainer, I'm telling her, all right, maybe you pull around the third round right now, go out there, at least score some points, land some shots. <laughs> Both fighters looking good. There is our next fight will be coming up. The fighters are in the back training right now, warming up, getting ready. Here we go. Round number two underway. And there's the Katarina missing that high kick once again. There's a couple knees into the midsection of the rib section by Ekaterina as they get into a clinch. And Denis Sedenko telling Ekaterina, stop grabbing the back of the head. He seems to have had that a lot tonight during his fights, having to tell the fighters to stop holding on to the back of the head and stop pulling it down. Nice big right by Ekaterina. Good right by Mikhail as they are clinching, but not called the clinch yet, so they have to keep fighting. I'm not so sure I like Ekaterina's strategy of kind of dancing around and taunting without really doing much. And she's missed all those high kicks. Nice left-right combination by Michaela. Ekaterina's got to be more aggressive. You got to rack up some points. If you don't knock your opponent down, you got to win by points. The only way to win by points is by landing your shots. Technically, she has great form, and she's very quick. I just believe that she could be doing a lot more. She gets high. Katrina has Mikaela on the ropes, comes in, throws a couple of knees. Right now, Denis Venko is talking to Katrina. Two quick high kicks by Ekaterina block. Nice from Michaela. Good left right combination by Ekaterina. Partially blocked by Michaela. She keeps those gloves up nice and high. Wait. 
But Diela trying to find a way to get inside on Yekaterina. So far, the only thing she's really been able to do is get those low kicks in. Another high kick by Yekaterina blocked. Another high kick missed. Does a good job of utilizing those legs, though. I do like the fact that she uses her legs a lot. Nice high kick, blocked nicely by Michaela. Michaela on the ropes, Katarina coming in for the blood. Michaela is just covering up. They're trying to fight back. Katarina landing the shots. The shots are being blocked, but they're having an effect on Michaela. Katarina's mouthpiece came out. That is the end of the second round. So it looks like it's going to come down to the third round as no fighter has a clear advantage in this fight. The third round is going to be the uh, telling tale of this match as it has been a lot tonight. So the fights are going in the first two rounds very close. Both fighters looking very fresh, very conditioned. Katarina not looking, uh, or I say Mikhail looking a little bit more tired than Katarina. Unfortunately for Mikhail, she's just not able to get inside. You can see there's that high kick partially blocked, but the foot did hit the back of the head. There's a nice right hook, again, partially blocked Michaela. So, you know, Michaela's done a great job of, of defending herself. There was that right close hook that knocked the mouthpiece out of Yekaterina's mouth. Right. Let's see if Michaela can get inside here in the third round and do some damage. Good right by Yekaterina, nice left jab by Yekaterina. Oh, Yekaterina missing a spinning back fist. Michael has got Yekaterina pushing back towards the rope. And she's just throwing wildly, actually. Her head is down. Michaela's head is down, and she just is throwing wildly. She landed it, but with no power. And you can see Michaela when she comes inside, she almost covers up, puts her head down, and then throws wildly. Good right by Yekaterina. For the speed that Yekaterina has, I don't think she's utilized it to her best advantage in this fight. It almost seems she was more interested in playing with her opponent than actually fighting with her. And there's Yekaterina missing that spinning back fist again. Mitra Sedenko, Dennis Sedenko, telling uh, the fighters, Michaela, don't hit somebody when their back's turned and telling Yekaterina not to turn her back. Nice high kick by Yekaterina. We're past the halfway mark here in round number three. Still a fairly close fight between these two fighters. As much as Katarina is uh, heavily favored and looks on paper to be a much stronger fighter than Michaela, Michaela has held herself up really well and turned this into a much closer fight than it needed to be. Nice shots by Katarina. As Katarina comes inside, Michaela is able to land a couple of her own shots. One minute left here. Got to with a nice right. Nice quick left by uh, Yekaterina as Michaela tried to get inside on her. Michaela now trying to find a way to get inside. And 
And McFadlin now looking very tired as she gets inside and has no power on her shot. What a beautiful high kick by Ekaterina. 10 seconds left here. The final round of this fight. Fighters clinch. Ekaterina throwing three or four knees. Only one allowed on the clinch. Nice low kick by Ekaterina. She did not show her power, but she showed her technical skill and her speed, but definitely not her power in this fight. McFarlane was able to stand the distance with her and even make it somewhat close. But in the end, I think Ekaterina is going to pull out the victory. Right now, we're just waiting for the judges to give their final scores and for our leg division to enter the ring and give his announcement. You see Ekaterina looking very fresh, whereas McFarlane does look tired. Looks like McFarlane worked more in this fight. Quite honestly, watching it, she did work more in this fight. She had to try and get inside. You kind of did a good job of keeping her from getting inside. Already, you can see a, a nice lump going up on uh, Michaela's forehead. In the middle. For the nomination, the ring invites Alexei Gusetnikov, Dmitry Kontarev, and Anastasia Yankova. Fighters in the middle. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, super fight in the weight pedigree, 54 kilograms. 3-0, Finner! Chikaterina Vandreyeva! Unanimous decision for Yekaterina Vandreyeva from Belarus. Congratulations, I think it was expected. She is a much stronger fighter. But she definitely was not the aggressor in this fight. She more played, she could have done a lot more. But congratulations to her, she pulled out the victory by unanimous decision. And now as we get ready for our final fight of the night, uh, Vladislav Koshal from Ukraine will be taking on Leandro Tom from the Netherlands as soon as the ring clears out. So far, a lot of fights, all gone the distance, no knockdowns yet.